Frankie. Speaking of One Piece. When you're in heat, an advantage of Peekaboo is that we can actually use our heat smash from Peekaboo. Remember this. So we can do our heat smash from neutral stance. And we can also do it from Peekaboo. Nimrod combination. Peekaboo forward one plus two. Comes out very fast. This move is just as fast as peekaboo one, two. Peekaboo one, two, and peekaboo forward one plus two share the same startup frames. However, the advantage of the Nimrod combo is that not only is it the fastest speed out of peekaboo, it also gives a wall splat on hit. So consider using this move over peekaboo one, two when you're at the wall, or at least alternating with it. So if we have the opponent at the wall, if we are poking, and we get a guess, and we hit Peekaboo 1, 2, we would have been more rewarded had we hit Peekaboo forward 1 plus 2, which is the same frames. But if we hit it, we're granted with a combo. Another benefit of this move, that it also jails on block. they are gonna put them on stand block, and then as soon as they hit, they're gonna crouch. See? we hit the opponent with the move that does not link, they will duck the strength. So we do peekaboo forward one plus two. They do not duck the first one because they can't. This move jails on block. So not only is it the fastest move out of peekaboo, and it's only minus five on block. So it's good to just throw out. Point number three and arguably the best pro is that it wall splats on hit, resulting in a very strong threat of a combo when you're in peekable and the opponent is against the wall. Nimrod combination, very strong. Wall splats from a decent distance. That is a decent distance. Cutting elbow, peekable down forward two, a move that I should be using more often. This move is a launcher out of peekaboo, minus 10 on block, so it is punishable by jab. Unless your opponent's really on it, or unless they see this move a lot, I'm about to be getting punished for it. Very compact launcher, where Steve launches you with his elbow, allowing for a full combo. This move is 16 frames, making it probably our fastest launcher that we have, I'm not kidding. However, this one is out of stance. We have moves like Dreadnought Uppercut, but uh, yeah, this one is, is pretty fast. A benefit of this launcher is that it is non-parryable, as it is an elbow and not a fist. So characters with punch parries or sabaki parries would not be able to parry this one. I believe Leroy can still parry it. Straight punch combination. Peekaboo forward to one. It is a mid-mid string for the first mid. Comes out at 18 frames. I'm gonna run that in slow mo. Pro number one of this combo is this initial two move, this low hook. This hook, like Peekaboo down one, evades jabs. So that's two moves that we have in Peekaboo that evade jab Peekaboo down one and Peekaboo forward two. And then Peekaboo one, two, they respond with the jab. They get hit with peekaboo forward two in response to their jab. Poetry in motion. It's also a pretty good wall ender. When you hit peekaboo forward two and then cancel the peekaboo, you have enough time to Sonic Fang and it will combo. And because Sonic Fang is a heat engager, if you're an advanced Steve or you're looking to challenge yourself a bit, you can actually create a launch opportunity out of Peekaboo 4 or 2. Here's an example. So yes. In Heat, we can turn Sonic Fang 
into a heat dash and then we can actually turn that heat dash into a launcher when we dash forward and we can continue the combo. This may very well be what makes or breaks the round for you. Knuckle plow, peekaboo down two. This is another move for breaking down standing opponents. Opponents that are hesitant to crouch and block. This is a strong move that can make them reconsider. This is a 28 frame startup move out of peekaboo. Pretty slow, but it's a stronger low. A plus seven on hit. And will leave you in a crouch state. Continue your offense pretty much unhindered on block minus 12 so you won't get launched for it it's pretty decent so it's plus seven on hit leaves you crouch so it allows you to mix up while standing it's only minus 12 on block so you may get hit with like a while standing four or something on counter hit this move will launch Finish. resulting in further wall push which is where we can push steve's agenda pretty damaging counter hit launcher. And it's one of our only launching counter hit lows that we have. In fact, I think it may be our only launching counter hit low. I use this one quite a bit out of manual. I'll be fighting an opponent, may catch me manually go into peekaboo and double up on a knuckle plow low in an attempt to counter hit launch the opponent. This move will also counter high, so if I think the opponent's gonna attack high as well, throw this move out, safely crouch under it, and potentially get a launch opportunity out of that. Next move is cross cut. Peekaboo down forward one two. This move in Tekken 7 used to screw or put the opponent in a screw state where we can continue a combo. In Tekken 8 where we have the tornado system, this move no longer does this. So to compensate, they allowed this move to have additional chip on block. So the significance of this move has been reduced. It is duckable, it does not jail. It's a mid-high string. It takes us out of peekaboo stance, leaves us minus six for some reason. I feel like this should be neutral on block. I have no idea why after this move lost its screw state that it is still minus six and duckable. So I do not use this move often or if it is an option if you just want to get out of peekaboo stance that is a pro of it it allows you to exit the stance while not being too negative on block even though the move is duckable see the opponent can duck this this is not jail on block too slow your opponent can duck and pretty much launch you especially in an offense friendly game like T8 all right Swing hook, peekaboo back two. This is a mini back swing blow that is mid, where Steve takes a step back and he swings at the opponent mid. This move is good for evading certain attacks if you're in peekaboo and you think the opponent will retaliate out of what you've just done. The step back will evade the retaliation and then slam them backwards which can result in a wall splat at the wall on block this move is minus 13 so it is a bit more punishable but it won't kill you backswing blow that wall splats grants a full combo at the wall pretty good for that on block minus 13 it's good for creating some openings or if you want to get out of peekaboo and you're not sure what to do or you have the opponent at the wall and you think they're going to retaliate red not uppercut peekaboo up four two this is another launcher out of peekaboo and this is a strong one red not uppercut also referred to as the shore you can is a 17 frame mid that low crushes as it does a hop and also high crushes at the same time on block minus 15 so it is launch punishable definitely want to watch where you throw this out however the benefits is that it both high crushes and low crushes at the same time, however, the move is launch punishable. So maybe not completely viable at highest level of play, but if the opponent has shown they don't punish it, or worse, you're playing another Steve player, 
Uh, Steve cannot punish this move. Steve cannot launch you for this move. This is a strong move in the Steve matchup. The Emotional Eat is perhaps a forward 1 plus 2 2 or a Sonic Fame into Heat Engage. Uh, so this is a strong move in the Steve matchup as Steve cannot launch you forward. Pretty strong launcher, does pretty good damage, very evasive. And that's it. A lot of short and compact attacks that annoy the opponent and cause them to take some type of action. As he has a low standing position in your face, he has a lot of deadly delayable combinations that reward you when the opponent attempts to intercept and grants you a counter hit most of the time. I appreciate everybody for coming through and watching. Remember your peekaboo against high level opponents. Ignore them. You are deadly delayable in this stance. Please optimize and use it against those that hurdle and use it to break down their offense. Do not be afraid to manually enter this stance. Steve's strength is in his delayability, so the ability to transition unpredictably into peekaboo stance is very strong and can provide an unpredictable offense to even those that know the character. This will be what sets you apart from other Steve's, is your ability to transition seamlessly into Steve's stances and the ability to fully utilize his toolkit to its full effect. Next up, we have Flicker Stance. I look forward to seeing you on our final journey of our Steve Stance Deep Dive and in our future videos where we go into the more advanced and nuanced facets about Steve. I'll see you then. Drop a like and sub on the video, and I'll see you in the next guide. Live powerful.